And the story is about a person called Malik ibn Dinar, later to become one of the most righteous people. But Malik ibn Dinar, he says, I started my life and I was, he, I'm a, he's a Muslim, but he said I was very far from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I did everything wrong. There is not a mistake, there is not a sin except that I did. As a matter of fact, I used to get drunk. He used to drink wine and get drunk. And he said, I continued my life that way. You know, having fun, entertainment, and I'm living. He's saying, La ilaha illallah, but that's my life. Till one day. One day I saw a little girl, you know, three, four years old. And said, he said, something changed in my heart. I looked at this girl. She was so cute. She was so nice. And I said, I want a girl like that. Why don't I go and get married? And he went and he said, indeed, I got married. And when I got married, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with his bounties, with all what I'm doing, he granted me a daughter. And some say he named her Fatima. And he says, when Fatima was growing up, I started to change. I'm becoming a father. I loved her so much. And my love for her started to change me. I started to become a better person. You know, I'm a father now. I can't be doing what I'm doing. And he said, even one, one day, one night, I was drinking, as I used to do, drinking intoxicants, intoxicants, khamr. As I'm drinking, she came, sat in my lap, and then she pushed the drink away. When she did that, I said, that's it. I'm done. I can't drink anymore. I'm a father, look at her. And I started to stop going for intoxicants, no more drinking. And he said, my life started to change gradually. I started to pray maybe a little bit. I started to improve. He said, light entered my life. And I started to have hope. But surely enough, one day, my daughter fell sick. And I became very worried. This is the light of my life. This is the one that I love. Please, Ya Allah, is she sick? And she gets sicker. And she gets sicker. And he became so worried. And surely enough, he says, she became so sick. And then she died. And when my daughter, a three years old die, a four years old die, you, the people who pass through this, it is a calamity. And he said, I couldn't take it. I could not bear this. I could not be patient over her loss. Ya Allah, that was the light in my life. She was all my hope. I loved her so much, I relapsed. I turned back worse than what I was. I started to go back. I started to drink even more. I relapsed completely. I couldn't take the pain. And he said, one night, I said, I'm going to drink tonight like I never did before. And I started to drink, 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 until basically he zonked out. Completely drunk and I zonked out. And he said, that night, I saw a dream. And in that dream, it was judgment day. And I was really scared, it's the day of judgment. And then all of a sudden, everybody was resurrected. And I saw everyone, the land is plain and everyone is resurrected. And I hear angels calling people by their name. And then one of the angels called my name. He said, Malik ibn Dinar, Halumma lil arda ala jabbar. Malik ibn Dinar, stand up. You're going to be displayed in front of the Almighty. God, the Almighty. And he said, when I heard that, I was terrified. And then all of a sudden, all the people disappeared. And I was in this land, and I look, and I find a huge snake. And that snake opening its mouth, heading directly to me. I was so terrified. It's a huge snake. I started to run. And that snake is after me. And I run, there is nowhere to go. And that snake is going to catch me. And I find an old man. I go to this old man and tell him, please help me. Help, look, the snake, help me. And he says, I, I'm so weak. I'm so old, I can do nothing. And he said, I ran and came back again. And I found the same man and I told him, please, I beg of you, do something. This snake is after me, he's going to kill me. He said, I'm too weak. I'm too old. I can do nothing for you. But there is a hill over there. Run over there, you might find some help. And he said, I had it ran towards that hill. And when I came on top of that hill, I look and I find small children all over across that hill. One of them looks up to me and he knows who I am. And he calls my daughter, Fatima, help your father. And then I saw my daughter, my three, four years old daughter. She came running up to me and she stood between me and the snake. And as the snake comes, she puts her hand up to the snake and the snake stops and then she points to the snake go back and the snake leaves he said I was so terrified so exhausted I fell on the ground and she came and she sat on my lap the same way she used to do in the life of this world in dunya and I was so exhausted I start to tell her 
my daughter Fatima, what is going on? I don't understand what's going on here. And she told me, Father, didn't you know? Didn't you know that our deeds that we do in the life of this world comes in the hereafter in a physical form? And the Quran says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, on the day of judgment, you will find, I'll find what I'm doing present in front of me. And then she told him, that snake that you saw, they, that was your evil deeds. You made him so strong. You made him so powerful. You did so many of them. They were going to destroy you. As for that old man, that was your good deeds. You made him so weak. You did so few of them. And he couldn't help you. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw that, and he saw that you're going to destroy yourself, he took me away from you when I was young. Lest you be patient over my loss. And by your patience over the, my loss, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives your sins and admits you to Jannah. And then she told him, Father, isn't it time? In the verse in the Quran, isn't it time for those who believe that their heart yearn and tremble and have khushu and oh for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, isn't it time? And what has been revealed to it? And Malik ibn Dinar said, I started to say, it's time, it's time, it's time. And he said, I woke up. I woke up crying, saying, it's time, it's time. And it was Fajr time. I made wudu. I ran to the masjid to find Salat al-Fajr. And the Imam is reciting the verse in the Quran. Isn't it time for those who believe that their heart yearn and tremble? And he said, that day Malik ibn Dinar changed 180 degrees. Malik ibn Dinar became one of the most righteous tabi'in. Why am I saying this? What is the moral of this story? What happened? What is the lesson? What is that story about? Was it good or bad? He lost his daughter. Was it good for him or was it bad for him? Where is Malik ibn Dinar now? Where is his daughter now? Was it good or bad? The scholars say, ربما أعطاك فمنعك وربما منعك فأعطاك It might be that he gave you but in reality he is depriving you and it might be that he is depriving you and in reality he is giving you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives sometimes by depriving He gives in deprivation and sometimes when I see things that I like coming my way and I say hey life is good and sometimes it is a punishment.